Hello friends, this is Webster from My Therapy Garden. We're playing the dirt, you have to take away the hurt. Today, we're doing a tour of the first pollinator's garden, the pollinator's garden. And we've extended the pollinator's garden a bit and have some new plants in it. So right here, these are Joe Pye weed, and the variegated leaf, Joe Pye weed. Behind it is Agastache, the pink Agastache. And it's commonly called what? Hummingbird mint. Yeah, beautiful pink on these ones. Behind it, another variegated leaf. It's an oleander. An oleander. Variegated leaf lavender. And then some marigold here. Marigold. We know pollinators just love these. Butterflies and bees, wasp, hummingbirds. <coughs> they all love all these plants that we have here. Some sage at the feet right here of the guardian of the garden, goddess Athena. Behind the goddess, pineapple sage. These are perennial, so they keep coming back year after year. The beautiful red spikes, which hummingbirds just love. Our big oak tree with Spanish moss. Giving it that nice old look to the garden. Plus if you're new, you know that I love Spanish moss from time spent in Savannah, Georgia with those big live oak trees covered in Spanish moss. <laughs> so as always, this is a nod to Savannah, time spent in Savannah. Right here we have another false indigo, which is not flowering yet. We make this path right here with mulch and stepping stone. And our yarrow are doing beautifully. The yarrow is in full bloom, full bloom. Come outside, there's always lots of uh, butterflies, those skipper butterflies. Yeah, they're always on the arrow. We can see some daylilies behind it. Some bee balm. You know where it gets its name from because the bees love it. One would be feasting on it right there. We had some bee balm seedling that was planted right in here, but they didn't make it after the last freeze that we have. Milkweed or butterfly weed coming. More bee balm. Another type of yarrow. Beautiful red yarrow. We just plant these yarrow here, which are peach yarrow. These give you a peach color. And it's called Firefly Peach Sky. Let's get the tag on it from Proven Winner. Don't give you a peachy color. Got lots of day lilies that we have here. Black eye Susan. More little butterfly weed.
It's a butterfly bush. Beautiful color on this one. This is called Pogster Pink. Pogster Pink. Soft pink butterfly bush. Some echinacea or cornflower. Beautiful red, look like sombrero. Pineapple sage coming. More black eye Susan. Laritris or blazing star. Have them here. And we have some other tall one here. I'm not sure what this flower is. I know it looks like a, a verbena, but it's um, some wildflower seed that I just sow to see what will come up. And this beauty is right here. I think this soft pink looks very good against the yellow. I think that makes a beautiful photo right here. I need to put this on Instagram. That's beautiful. Day lilies, the yellow day lilies, lots of them spent. But look at this beauty right here. It's a beautiful color of this day lily. Of course, my oak tree covered in Spanish moss. A nod to the low country and to Savannah. And we have more pineapple sage right back here. As they grow, they'll provide some protection for the guardian of the garden, Goddess Athena. Cover her backside back here. <laughs> so she'll have some privacy as these uh, pineapple sage grow. So this is the pollinator's garden, guys. Some flower uh, like the daylily was looking glorious last week, but we know daylilies only last for a day. So we'll have more showing for the rest of the season. This is a beautiful daylily also. I think we got this one from Anne, Anne in Ohio. Gifted us with some daylilies. Right here, this beautiful yarrow and echinacea. Then bee balm. Just to the right here, autumn joy sedum. Just getting ready to flower. And that's the uh, pollinator's garden. I hope you like the view. Please give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. Questions or comment, drop a line down below. And take care of yourselves, guys. This is Webster from My Therapy Garden. We're playing in the dirt. Help me to take away the hurt. And we just did a tour of the pollinator's garden. I hope you like that. Have a great day. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now, guys.